How's it going guys? Winter Kills here. Welcome back to a brand new and updated test and video for Speedroids. Of course, post dual overload, we did receive a bit of uh, support in that set by way of the uh, marble machine. It's basically a dumbed down version of Terror Top. Um, I, I'm kind of just basically saying that they gave us this card uh, because I don't think Terror Top is coming back to three anytime soon. Um, so don't get your hopes up, but if it did, it would help this deck out greatly with some of the issues that it's suffering from, inconsistencies, uh, lackluster end boards, uh, and just outright uh, losing to cards like Nibiru and hand traps all across the board. Um, but this deck still is a very cheap, very fun deck, that's why I have it, uh, and I hope I can show you guys some cool plays here in this test hand video. Uh, if you guys want to see the deck list I'm currently using, link to that down in the description below. Not currently playing Hex of Saucer, even though that did come out in Dual Overload. I don't think that card really deserves uh, a spot in the main deck. Maybe at one at a maximum, but no more than that whatsoever. Uh, now, me and my friend did sit down for a good few hours last night trying to come up with some new things this deck could do. We tried messing around with the Mecha Phantom Beast Link Aurora Don. Really didn't come up with anything too crazy there. Uh, tried a going second variant, taking advantage of Chambara and Kite Drake. That didn't work, uh, so we sort of went back to the standard uh, tried and true route of speedroids revolving around the rubber band shooter. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get into our first test hand here, but of course a quick shout out as always to Imperium Duelist. If you guys are interested in picking up some amazing two player cloth play mats like the one you see me using here, or some amazing high quality tournament ready sleeves like I'm using here in most of my videos as well, um, check them out. Honestly guys, if you haven't gotten on some of these sleeves yet, these tournament ready armor non effect sleeves are absolutely amazing. Um, my favorite sleeves, hands down. Um, you can get all this stuff on their site for 10% off using that discount code WINNERKILLS10OFF. And it'll help support the channel as well. Uh, so it is greatly appreciated. And if you guys are buying anything on TCG Player and you want to help support the channel at no extra cost to you, using that affiliate link to TCG Player does help out greatly. And lastly, if you want to get in on some exclusive perks and rewards, like behind the scenes photos, uh, mail day posts, uh, bloopers and outtakes, uh, and a dedicated spot for your name in the credits of all my videos, uh, consider becoming a member of the channel and clicking that join button down below as well. So uh, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into our first test hand of the video. We're gonna do five as per usual and we'll see what we can make happen. We open Double Yo-Yo, Pot of Avarice, there's a new card I'm trying out. Uh, one World Legacy Succession, one Horse Dilts, and last but not least, uh, Take Tom Borg. This hand was looking a bit grim, not gonna lie, not gonna lie though. Um, but uh, uh, Pot of Avarice, I wanna mention real quick, this card, um, I really didn't think about playing this card at all until like earlier uh, today when I was about to make this video because you do put a lot of monsters into the graveyard very, very fast. And a lot of which you'd rather have recycled things like Terror Top and Dendigo Duke. So, or not really Dendigo Duke, but um, uh, the level one, uh, level two Battle Wasp, level one Battle Wasp I'm playing here because I'm playing that in place of Clock Wyvern because uh, I think it is just a better engine than the Clock Wyvern engine. Uh, but I digress. Uh, really just trying this card out. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and start with the Horse Dilts. And on its normal summon, we're going to special summon a level four lower speed ride monster from our hand. So we're going to go with Double Yo Yo. And then we're also going to special summon the. Take Tom Borg. We'll use that uh, to go ahead and tribute itself off. And I'm going to go ahead and get uh, the, where is it? Uh, the level one red eye die. Because one other thing I'm starting to experiment with more is actually learning this uh, Cosmic Blazar combo uh, that I've been hurt, uh, hearing so much about. At least whenever I've tried to cover anything speedroid related, people always tell me about the Cosmic Blazar combo that loses extremely hard to Nibiru, but it's still very cool nonetheless. Um, but either way, we're going to synchro right into the Speedroid Hagoita, and then we'll link uh, the Hagoita and the Double Yo-Yo. Uh, we could put this actually anywhere, it doesn't matter since we're in MR5 now. And just like that, our Pot of Avarice is already live, so uh, you got to like that, of course. Uh, but now we're going to go ahead and use the effect of Rubber Band Shooter here to go ahead and banish a level 7. Poor Clearwing, always getting banished off of the Rubber Band Shooter. Uh, we're going to get Dendiko Duke and a copy of Double Yo-Yo here. I uh, don't really want Terror Top. Terror Top uh, off of this uh, fact really won't do us a lot. Rather would want this uh, Dendiko Duke in the graveyard. I really hope we get the Dendiko Duke in the graveyard because if we don't, uh, this, this combo is going to go from good to just mediocre. Um, and so I just wish this card wasn't up to random chance, like what you got off of it. Uh, so I'm just going to randomly shuffle these here and see what we get. Um... 
So we'll do, uh, we'll just pick one here randomly. Let's see, let's go with this one. We got the double yo-yo. That is extremely nice. Okay, so before we go any further into this combo, in order to secure the Cosmic Blazar Dragon play, we're actually gonna wanna play Succession first because this will secure an extra body on board that we need uh, for later on uh, for like one of the last synchro plays we're gonna make before we go into Blazar uh, because we're gonna need a five, a four, and a three to be able to get into it. And there gotta be all synchro monsters. Uh, so we're going to use Succession to bring back this double yo-yo. We could also bring back the horse stills. So it doesn't matter. Uh, we just need a card that we can get on board to manipulate this level later on. Uh, so now we're going to use our extra normal summon on the double yo-yo in our hand. And then we're going to revive the red-eyed die. And we're going to use red-eyed die to make this card a level 2. Um, and it's important that we do that so we can synchro into the martial uh, metal marcher. And then once we synchro for the Martial Metal Marcher, we're actually not going to use its effect to bring back Red Eye Die, but instead we're going to use Dendaiko Duke uh, to bring out Red Eye Die and use its effect again to make this card a level 3. And while we also control the Speed Ride Tuner, we're going to bring back that Hagoita. Now, once we've done that, we're going to synchro the Red Eye Die and the Yo Yo into a copy of the High Speed Ride Puzzle. And this is that important level 4 that we need. And then we'll synchro the 3 the 4, and the 5 into a level 12, none other than Cosmic Blazar Dragon, and just hope they don't have Nibiru. But since we have Pot of Avarice in our hand, we can go ahead and play that. And we can recycle all three of these alongside a copy of Take Tom Borg and a copy of the Horse Stilts. Put those two back into the deck, put these three back into the extra deck. We'll go ahead and give the deck a quick shuffle here. Uh, and hopefully we can draw into Ash and Ogre because that would give us, I think, one of the best possible fields that this deck is currently capable of. Um, but let's go ahead and see if we have that same luck. We got the right card off Rubber Band Shooter. Let's see. We draw a copy of Red Eye Die and a copy of Terror Top. I mean, that's still not bad. It's good recovery cards for next turn. Um, but yeah, we have the Cosmic Blazar. Um, we're in a pretty darn good spot. And for basically those that don't know what Cosmic Blazar Dragon does, Basically, it says, uh, must be synchro summon and cannot be special summoned by other ways. You can banish this card until the end phase to activate one of these quick effects. Uh, when your opponent activates a card or effect, negate the activation if you destroy that card. When your opponent would summon a monster or monsters, negate the summon if you destroy that monster or monsters. And when an opponent's monster uh, declares an attack, negate the attack, then end the battle phase. So, uh, this card does a whole lot. It also has 4,000, 4,000. It's also a proxy, I realize that. I don't actually have this card. I was also considering playing a copy of Stardust Warrior here, but uh, that's for another day. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty good uh, combo right there, pulling off the Blazar Dragon. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and reset here, and we'll go ahead and do another test hand. All right, so I'm just about done shuffling. And like I said, uh, if you guys want to see the deck profile for this, let me know uh, if you want a separate deck profile video. And I'll get around to making one. Otherwise, there's not too much of a demand. We might not even see uh, an update. But like I said, there is uh, a list currently that I'm using, sort of like a, a, a temporary list in the description. But let me know if you guys want to see uh, a deck profile for this deck, though. Either way, we opened up um, not too bad here. We got Marble Machine in our opening hand, so we'll go ahead and use that. We're going to go ahead and search out the Take Tom Borg. We'll special Take Tom Borg and tribute it off uh, for none other uh, than Red Eye Die. We're not going to use its effect here because there's really no reason to. Unfortunately, Speedlift is dead once again in our hand. Gotta love Speedlift. It's a love, love, hate with this card. It's a necessary evil, I feel like, sometimes. Um, but now we're going to use Rubber Band Shooter here. Uh, and we're going to do... Let's see. We already have access to uh, the Red Eye Die. Um, I'm going to go for the Duke and the Yo-Yo. Of course, we're going to banish a level 7 again here for the effect to get access to these cards. Uh, so we'll banish that copy of Clearwing. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and roll the dice here and see which one we can get to our hand. Just like this. Random mix them up. Odd, even. Roll an odd. So we get the Daiko Duke to our hand, which is completely fine because we have that copy of Horror Stilts to work with, which is nice. Um, so we'll use our extra normal summon, uh, thanks to Rubber Band Shooter, on the Horror Stilts. That will revive uh, the... Uh, then Daiko Duke from our hand. Now from here, I believe the next best thing um, would be, or potentially could be, to synchro for a clear wing here. Um, or we could speed recovery uh, to bring back Red Eye Die, uh, and that would synchro for possibly Hagoita. Then we could make Crystal Wing there, uh, and then bring back. Yeah, we could actually make a, a cooler play here if we just do this. If we 
recovery uh, for the die, not use its effect here. But then we're going to go ahead and synchro these two off uh, for a copy of Hagoita. And then we'll synchro these for Crystal Wing. And we'll go ahead and put Crystal Wing here. Um, yeah, we'll make Crystal Wing. Um, also want to mention I'm also playing the Wind Pegasus because that card is really fantastic in this deck, I think. Um, but now we're going to go ahead and use uh, Daiko Duke to bring out the Red Eye Die. And then since we control a speed ride tuner, we're going to go ahead and bring back the Hagoita. And then from here, we can go ahead and synchro into a copy of Charge Word that'll net us a draw. We draw into Snowbell, which is really, really good. We can special summon that, and then we'll synchro the Snowbell and the Charge Warrior into a copy of Clearwing Fast Dragon. Um, and we end with a Ghost Ogre in our hand as well. So finding a pretty clutch extender there last second... Um, to make this a much better end feel. We also have the Ghost Ogre in hand as well. Um, yeah, not too bad. Um, but yeah, as I was mentioning, that Wind Pegasus card is actually really, really good in here. I think it's almost mandatory to play within the extra deck. Uh, simply because not only is it great for going second, basically allows you to when summon, just at a minimum, destroy one spell trap your opponent controls, but it says, basically, uh, if another card or card you control is destroyed by battle on your opponent's card effect, while well, this card in your graveyard... Um, uh, basically, you can banish this card and then target a card your opponent controls, shuffle into the deck. So that effect is really nice, really good graveyard uh, interaction effect uh, that this deck sort of has been lacking. Um, but yeah, pretty decent test hand there, ending on the, uh, you know, the Fast Dragon with the uh, Crystal Wing. Um, Charge Warrior putting in a bit of work there, same thing with the uh, Wind Witch cards. Uh, just, they're pretty much almost always going to be live. Uh, whenever you see them. That's why they're really, really nice. They just help you step up into other synchro plays um, and just get other bodies on board to work with. Uh, so let's do a few more shuffles here. Then we'll go ahead and do our third test hand for the video. All right, so just about done shuffling here. Let's go ahead and get into our next test hand for the video and see what we can pull off. We open a copy of Red Eye Die, Speed Recovery, Speed Lift, Snowbell, and a copy of Take Tom Borg. So this is one of those hands where Speed Lift will actually come in handy here. Uh, we'll normal summon the Red Eye Die. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and activate Speed Lift. And Speed Lift, of course, is going to summon a Speed Ride monster from our deck. Um, so let's see. What do we want to summon? Um, obviously, Terror Top is out of the question because Terror Top won't be able to activate because um, they worded it like that for some reason. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and summon Dendaiko Duke since we already have a Take Time Borg in our hand. Um, and there's no real reason to special summon one like that from the deck. We might as well just get an extra extender in the form of uh, this tuner monster here. But now we'll special summon the, uh, the Take Tom Borg and we'll activate Take Tom Borg's effect here to go get access to another copy of the Red Eyed Die. Since I don't think we need any uh, more copies of uh, the Red Eyed Die or the Dendaiko Duke here. Uh, but from now, uh, we're not going to summon the Snowbell yet because we don't need to per se. Uh, but we're going to link these two off into Rubber Band Shooter. We're going to banish a level 7 here. Um, since I think it would be best to do the yo-yo for uh, top play. So let's see if we can get the yo-yo uh, and get the terror top out of the graveyard as a result. Um, but one thing about this deck is it, it often plays a lot of normal summons. It's, it's just been like the way this deck has sort of operated for a long time. Uh, and it's mainly okay, I guess, for the most part, because we have a band shooter uh, to help get extra normal summons out of our hand to be able to make you know, more high impact plays with them, I suppose. Um, but uh, we'll go odd even here real quick. Uh, odd, we get this one. That's the terror top that goes to our hand. Uh, this one goes to the grave. Um, but yeah, speaking back on what I was saying about the normal summons, I, I kind of want to try a build where I only play six normal summons and I play like one yo-yo and I play one horse stilts. And my only normal summons are probably going to be like uh, the three battle wasps and the three marble machine. Because um, I feel like those like are the three best ones. Um, or I might cut the Battle Wasp engine and just play three horse stilts. But the Battle Wasp engine is much more self-sufficient. And it also makes speed lift live because the Battle Wasp monster is a, um, is a tuner monster. So just some food for thought, I suppose. Because sometimes opening like too many yo-yos and horse stilts is bricks. And if you really need them, you can try to get them off of a band shooter, I suppose. Um, but anyways, I digress. We'll use our extra normal summon here on the Terror Top. We'll use its effect here. To go ahead and grab the rubber band plane. Nice additional extender to have here. Um, but now we're going to special summon Snowbell while we control two or more wind monsters. And then on that special summon, we'll use the effect of rubber band plane. 
Um, now from here, uh, we're gonna probably want to try and make um, Hagoita. Hagoita would be pretty nice to have here. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do here is actually try to go for Charge Warrior to see if we can draw in some more extenders. Um, mainly just our Monster Reborns for the deck. Let's summon the uh, Charge Warrior. Let's draw into another card. We draw into Take Tom Borg. Not really what we were looking for. Um, but from here, we can go ahead and uh, use the effect of Dendyko Duke uh, to bring out this Red Eyed Die. Uh, and while we're at it, we can sort of manipulate the level of this Terra Top here uh, to be able to make it a level 4 that allow us to make Hagoita. Uh, but from here, we're going to go ahead and synchro the uh, level 6 and the level 1 for a copy of the Clearwing Fast Dragon. And then we're going to synchro uh, the 4 and the 1 for a copy of Hagoita. Then we'll use Speed Recovery here to bring back... Uh, what do we want to bring back here? Let's go with uh, the Red Eye Die. Uh, we can use that to make this a level 6. We'll synchro these into a copy of Clearwing. Uh, just like this or we can make the uh, Pegasus monster if we want to as well uh, and then That's really all we can do So yeah, that's really all we're gonna be able to do for that turn there ending on the fast dragon with the clear wing Not the best end board, but the end board uh, will have to do for now. So we want to shuffle up and uh, Go ahead and do another test hand Maybe at the end of the day, I don't know, maybe I'm just not big brain enough to see some of these combos that could be made, but if you guys are speedroid aficionados yourselves, feel free to leave some helpful feedback down in the comment section below um, as I'm trying to learn this deck as much as, you know, pretty much everybody else is. Um, I'm just trying to uh, share what I can uh, with the rest of the community. So if you guys have some other speedroid combos featuring new cards or old cards, whatever it may be, I'm interested. I'm all ears, uh, so feel free to let me know down in the comments section below. All right, so the deck has been shuffled here. Let's go ahead and draw into our last and final test hand of the video again. Hopefully, it is better than that last test hand because it was absolutely dreadful. And look at that. It's a little pin the bullseye coming to say hello here in the last and final test hand. Look at this little guy. I just want to throw him against a wall. But either way, let's go ahead and do this test hand. We're going to start by normal summoning none other than the mighty marble machine. Um, and we're going to go ahead and add a copy of your boy Tom. Tom's going to summon himself, and Tom's going to dip out for later. Uh, and then we're going to... I've been opening m multiples of Toms this entire video. Like, have you guys seen that? Have you guys been noticing that? Like, I've literally drawn multiple terror... Like, take Tom Borgs. Multiple hands. I'm... I don't know. I don't even... I don't even know. But either way, we're going to go ahead and get Dendyko Duke here. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and Link Row Shoken and do a copy of the Rubber Band Shooter, because um, he is one of them shooters. But let's go ahead and uh, use the effect here. Um, and let's just think, you know, what the heck do we want here? What the heck do we want? Um, I'm kind of thinking it'd be cool to banish a level 8 this time around. Get the hell out of here, Crystal Wing. We don't need you here. We need a copy of either Yo-Yo or a copy of them Stilts um, to really carry this, this play. Uh, I don't know where this field is going to go, but hopefully it goes somewhere. So let's go ahead and shuffle these two bad boys up. We'll do odd on the left, even on the right, and we'll roll the die. We get the even, so that means we get the card on the right to our hand. And the other one will go to the graveyard, so we get that horse stilts, which is pretty pog champ, if you ask me. So we use our extra normal summon on that horse stilts. And then we use horse stilts effect to get one of these speedroid monsters out of our hand. And we'll go with uh, the red-eye die. Now I'm trying to think, is there like a cool play that can be done here with Hagoita? Um, because Agoita is nice because it's just a recurable level 5 uh, that we can do all sorts of stuff with. Um, but I'm really thinking maybe we only make it a level 6 so we can synchro into like a clear wing and then make a crystal wing. But I think what I'm going to do is make it a level 5 uh, and then we're going to just synchro into charge warrior. Because either way, um, it's not looking too great, but let's see what we draw into. We draw into another ghost ogre, um, so that's interesting. Um, but now we'll go ahead and use Dendaiko Duke, uh, banish itself, summon, uh, this red-eyed die, uh, and then we'll just synchro into a copy of Clearwing Fast Dragon, uh, cause I think Fast Dragon's a little bit better than just normal Clearwing, um, but we end with Fast Dragon and Double Ghost Ogre, I mean, again, I don't know if it's just, this deck is just not that great, um, granted it has a very limited, you know, amount of things that it can do, um, I just bricked over the course of this video, um, or I'm missing 
plays that can be made. Um, but yeah, this is a temporary list. Uh, this is a testing video, obviously. We're going to be working out the kinks. We're going to be seeing what doesn't work and what does work. I already have ideas after filming this video of things that I want to change and sort of reflect on them. Um, I might try to, again, uh, make a build where I only play uh, one stilt and one yo-yo um, just to reduce the amount of normal summons. So I could cut two stilts and a yo-yo from the deck, which leaves up three slots, um, which allows me to add in, I guess, maybe Call by the Graves or uh, an Into the Void and maybe like another speed lift uh, and maybe something else in the form of an extender. I just don't know. Um, but like I said, leave me uh, some suggestions down in the comments below. I'd love to see them. Uh, maybe we'll see another test hand video for this deck in the future and then hopefully soon an updated profile. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Uh, and uh, yeah, as always, guys, Winter Kill signing out. We'll see you guys in the next one.